I've had my first Mac for a few months now, and I thought I'd make a video sharing some tips and tricks for using Mac OS X, just general things that are good to know if you do use it. So I'll start off by showing you how to take screenshots. Now there's an easy way to take them by using a sh keyboard shortcut. What you do is press Command Shift 3, and as you hear the little shutter sound, that takes a full screen screenshot. If you want to select a specific area, what you do is hit Command Shift 4, and that gives you this little crosshair. And then you just drag, and there you have a screenshot of that area. You can also do Command Shift 4 and then press space, and that brings up this little camera icon in the place of your mouse cursor. And you can take a screenshot of a specific window or even your dock, the menu bar up top, and icons. Now when you take a screenshot, by default it's saved to your desktop and that gets anno annoying after a while because your desktop gets cluttered with image files. So what I did, I got this application which among other things allows you to change where your screenshots are saved to. So what I did was create a folder called screenshots and I choose PNG as the type of file I want to save it as and then whenever I take a screenshot it's saved there. And in addition, what I did was go and take my screenshots folder and drag it to my dock. That way, whenever I take a screenshot, I have quick access to it from my dock. So I can just drag it out into an email or an IM conversation or whatever. When I'm using my computer, I tend to have a lot of windows open. And to easily navigate between those windows, you can of course use Expose, which is really nice. And to launch Expose, what I do is move my mouse down to the bottom right corner of the screen, and that activates Expose. To enable this shortcut, you just go to System Preferences, Expose and Spaces, the Expose tab, and then you can choose one shortcut for each corner. So what I have set is bottom left is Dashboard, Bottom, uh, top left is desktop, uh, bottom right, of course, is expose, and then top right is spaces, which brings me into my spaces view. Uh, I'm not using it right now because I have my 24 inch display hooked up, so that's plenty of space for me. But when you're in the spaces uh, display mode, you can also go into expose, so that allows you to see every window for every space and giving you easy access to moving them around between spaces. So that's just a nice feature to have. Uh, it takes some getting used to though because at the beginning when you're not used to having each corner as a shortcut sometimes you move your mouse to the corner accidentally and you enable it but after getting used to it it really helps. Another handy thing is when you have a window open and you want to move the window behind that without uh, having it pop up over the window you're using, you can just press the command key and then move it around without disturbing the window you're using right now. You can also minimize and close it in that mode so that it doesn't disturb what you're looking at right now. Safari, there are a couple of handy shortcuts which I use all the time. Uh, if I like this page and I want to send it to someone, uh, I just hit Command I and that creates an email with the whole page in the email with all the links working. And uh, even if it's a YouTube page, the video will play in the page. Or if you want to just send a link to it, you can hit Command Shift I and that creates an email with the link to the page. You can zoom into your screen by pressing the control key and scrolling in and out to zoom out. Uh, there are a few preferences for this, so just go to System Preferences, Universal Access, you can turn it on or off, and you have some more options here, such as Minimum Zoom, Maximum Zoom, some other random options, and you can also choose what key to press or what set of keys to press in order to activate the zoom. And this is useful if you're sitting at a distance and want to read some small text or want to show something to someone who's on the other side of the room, then just press the key and zoom in 
can zoom in pretty close, but of course the image becomes very pixelated. And finally, I'll show you a couple of fun things. So, you know, when you minimize a window with the default effect, which is the genie effect, it does the, the genie effect, but you can put it into slow motion by holding down the shift key and then pressing on the minimize effect. And as you can see, you get a slow mo effect, and it also works for getting the window out of there. Another fun thing to have is to have your computer read out the time for you. So to activate this, you just go to System Preferences, Date and Time, go to the Clock uh, tab, and choose Announce the Time, and you can choose on the hour, half hour, or quarter hour, and then you can choose a voice for it from, I think there are uh, a few voices. And it's just a fun thing to have. So yeah, that's just a few tips and tricks that I've found out over the past few months. Uh, if I missed any, which I'm pretty sure I did, uh, leave a comment below or a video response showing it off. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.